So now that Yugi and Yami have woken the dragon, I'm going to guess Joey is going to be the second dragon rider. And the third's going to be Kaiba, obviously, because they're trying to make him more and more of a sort of protagonist -y type character of the series. Because, you know, every series needs a douchebag that is sort of friends with the protagonist and helps out and is always the second strongest. Kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called? That one, you know, with the Dragon Balls. You know, when they go around and collect the dragon's balls, and then when you have the dragon by the balls, the dragon grants you a wish. Forget what that anime is called, but you know the one. Yu-Gi-Oh! is filmed before an impatient studio audience. Show the episode! Just hope nobody ever finds the bodies I buried under here. <laughs> All around the world, reports are coming in of people seeing strange lights in the sky. This apparently constitutes an interesting news story. In other headlines, Seto Kaiba announces plans for a school that teaches kids to play card games. We ask him what kind of drugs he's taking. Why are we watching this on a laptop? <laughs> Last time we tried watching TV together, Tristan and punched a hole through it. They thought it was a ghost. Hey, Yug, good thing you had this card at the end of the last episode. It saved our butts. That card definitely helped, but what really saved us was the bond that I share with my partner. Right, Pharaoh? Clean your room. I'll do it in a minute. God, lay off. Oh, I wonder what else this thing can do. Magical trading card. Give me a new TV. <laughs> the ghost! Kawaii <laughs> Don't tell me Neville and Weedle are gonna fucking follow along on this one. Yugi, they finished sweeping the floor. Can I come back inside? I'll allow it. I see Joey and Tristan finally hooked up. I'm glad you were my first. Shut up, Tristan. Also, your father told me to give you this package. My father was here? Oh no, my mistake. It was the mailman. You know someone you actually see on a regular basis? I get those two mixed up sometimes. Yugi's dad is a mailman? You guys must be loaded. Who's a friend? It says, warning, contains filler plot details. Oh god. oh god, not another fill rock! The last one took like three years to get through! It's from Pegasus. What the hell is it? Yeah, huh? and how could it be from a Pegasus? Is it some form of ancient Blu-ray? Pegasuses don't even exist. Seriously, anybody ever seen one of these before? They're fictional beings. I have. In season one, when Pegasus stole my grandpa's soul. It was probably just a horse. I took your grandpa's soul. I look Oh god, he's rapping. I made this tournament, cause my wife, she did a explode. Maybe he'll take someone's soul that we don't care about this time. Yeah. Why would you watch you. it? How do you know who that is? How do, Yugi boy? Don't worry, I'm not here to steal anyone's soul this time. Take Yamcha's soul. No, I'm sure you're all wondering why the planet is being invaded by monsters. Well, I know who's behind it. And rather than inform the authorities or the National Guard, or warn the general public, about it, I made the far more rational decision of filming a vague message on a videotape and sending it to a group of school children. Kill Yamcha! No, I've also enclosed a one-of-a-kind Duel Monsters card, which will give you access to my personal compound. By the way, I have a personal compound. eBay. Whatever you do, don't sell it on eBay. F*** you, eBay! No, eBay! I'll do what I want with your damn card, right, Yami? Clean your room! God damn it, you never helped me ever! Why isn't anybody killing Yamcha? <laughs> I don't know what this Yamcha is, but it sounds like a reference. Yeah. <laughs> References suck. I can't believe Pegasus is going to give those butt munches a bunch of rare cards. What are the odds Whoa. they could do a Dragon Ball Z I just reference? Got like an idea or something. You sure it's not a fart? I think I know the difference between a fart and an idea. <laughs> we should like follow those guys so we can get rare cards too, and then we'll score. Yeah, Czechs love dudes who think about card games all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Rex, I got another idea. <laughs> what is it? Um, never mind. When you know down to the hill, where he come from, we will know. Oh, All right, douchebags. I'm sick and tired of us not being on top. Where are we going to be? Sir, on top, sir. That's why the tippy top, man. So in order to refocus our efforts and we will take charge, I'm going to wank all of you right now. You're going to what us? I'm going to wank you, each of you, one at a time. 
Though I reserve the right to make you guys pair off and wank each other later. I already had a wank in a bush. Why are you being private with your wanking, man? We share here. I was lonely. Okay, you, the big guy. What's your name? Raphael. Okay, Raphael. From now on, you will be my really? number one wanked man. If I ever need to handle something hard, I will come white to you because of how high we are wank you. You outwank everyone else here. Thank you. The rest of you, go forth and put my plans into action, man. And then I might consider we ranking you by order of dick sows. These meetings get f***ing weird. <coughs> Ooh, I'm going to see Yugi Boy again. I haven't been this excited for a reunion since the Spice Girls in 2007. Speaking of reunions, how would you like to test out my girl power? Oh no, it's Baby Spice, my least favorite Spice Girl. The horror, the unfabulousness. That's right, Serenity. We're going to America. I thought we lived in America. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, we're flying from America to America. Because that's where we live. Where are you going? Somewhere in California. That's not very helpful. Serenity, how much more specific can I get? Somewhere in California. But... Where? Somewhere. Why won't you tell me where you're going? I just did. Hey, I wonder how Tristan's getting on. You know what, with his severe phobia of packing. <laughs> well, my luggage is full of metal <laughs> what in the fuck? and leather outfits. I'm sure that won't raise any red flags during airport security. <laughs> Yugi, something is weighing heavily upon my soul. What is it, Pharaoh? The fate of the world rests in our hands? You're worried about the safety of our friends? You think we can't overcome this challenge? No, I was just gonna ask if I could have the window seat. You don't even have a body. Yes, but if I sit anywhere else, I'm either stuck between two fat guys, or the flight attendants keep waking me up by hitting me in the head with their butts. Do you know how awful it is to wake up with someone's butt slapping you in the face? Overrated! Get some rest, Pharaoh. We'll talk about it in the morning. I wonder if there are card games on the moon. Welcome to the airport. We hope you like having your personal space invaded and being treated like a known criminal. Because that's what we do here. Also, if you're flying United Airlines, f*** you. Your flight is cancelled, and I'm glad. Be careful in America, Yugi. I hear wow. their society is so backwards that it revolves around money instead of card games. I will show them a better way. Look at all those fancy boats. Uh, excuse me, is one of you the main? character? Yeah, I'm the main character. Your hair checks out. This is the group. Master Pegasus has reserved you all his private jet, which will fly you all the way to somewhere in California. How long will it take to get to somewhere? Somewhere between soonish and later on. This bag sure is as heavy as two teenage boys. Don't ask me how I know that. Oh, watch it, fart knocker. Hey, Glenn, this bag just called me a fart knocker. Well, if the shoe fits. Oh, oh. you're so bad. This plan rules. God We're damn gonna it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, what if I gotta pee? In another few hours, the sun will rise. You said rise. Here's your tasteless, lukewarm in-flight meal. Hey, it's that stuff that stand-up comedians are really confused about. I laugh when they talk about the food. Guys, the boat is sinking. Everybody, please get inside. Wow, a freaking automobile. Talk about traveling in style. Joey, we've traveled by cruise ship and blimp before. Are you really that impressed by a car? Holy crap, it has wheels and sh**. Hey, guys, I think we grabbed somebody else's bag. This one keeps giggling to itself and making a noise. Fart jokes. Well, we can't just leave it lying around. We'd better give it to airport security so they can leave it lying around. And get really mad at whoever owned the bag for losing it, even though it probably wasn't their fault. Somebody farted. Tell everybody that even though my company specializes in giant monsters attacking things, we had absolutely nothing to do with these giant monster attacks. Also, fire our PR guy. Uh, I'm the PR guy, sir. Well, good, because you're gonna have lots of public relations when you're out there on the street with the public. Because... Fired? God, firing people makes me feel so powerful. I wonder if I can fire people in other companies. Mokuba, get the CEO of Stark Industries on the phone. Mokuba, respond. Seto, I've been standing here for the last five hours. <laughs> Shut up, Mokuba. I'm trying to talk to Mokuba. Mokuba! Mokuba, respond! Okay, while well, that Mokuba slacks off, what do you want, Mokuba? Seto, some anonymous person is buying all the company's shares and now owns more than 50% of Kaiba Corp. That makes no sense. What happened to all the other shareholders? Well, you fired most of them. That doesn't sound... Why did you even list gone. more than 50% of your company? Mokuba. Mokuba, respond! He's usually so efficient, I don't get it. 
Ah, this is probably Yugi calling to tell me that I actually won Battle City and that he owes me, like, all of his trading cards. You say that every time the phone rings. Yugi, I knew this day would come. Kaiba boy. Pegasus man. I suppose you're wondering who just bought the majority of your company's shares. Was it... Yugi? No, silly Billy, it was me. That was gonna be my third guess. Who was your second? Yugi. That's right, Kaiba. <laughs> I'm basically in charge of your company now. Remember in season one where I was trying to do that and had to resort to kidnapping? It turns out I could have just done this. Are you out of your mind, Pegasus? If you want to get your shares back, you'll come to my castle and duel me for them. I knew it. This is just some lame attempt to get me to come see you so that you can hit on me with a bunch of cheap innuendos, isn't it? Perish the thought, Kaiba boy. This is a perfectly innocent card game challenge. Seriously? Seriously? You promise there won't be any flirting? Boy Scout's honor, Kaiba boy. Well then, okay, I accept your challenge. Then I'll see you later, Kaiba. See you then, for our totally innocent and not at all creepy perverted duel. We gonna f God damn it now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna trade some cards, only got 20 million dollars in my pocket. I'm gonna summon, looking for a blue eyes, this is Seto Kaiba. Hey big bro, can we go thrift shopping? Shut up, Mokuba. Some anonymous person is buying all the company's shares and now owns more than 50% of 50%? <laughs> oh no, it's babies. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> That voice oh must be tough to do. This is like one of my favorite episodes in a long time. You had Pegasus rapping, Kaiba rapping, and fucking shit! I, I, I have to clap. I have to, like... I was... Yeah, I enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, link in the description. Fuck this one. You have a hidden talent you don't know about, like Paris Hilton being an actress. Oh, scratch that. <laughs> I said it's one! <laughs> forward and three Wait, kid, you dropped your Time microphone! Put Santini on his ass! You wanna be an Air Force Ranger? You wanna live a life of danger? You don't wanna get raped by strangers! Think of a big 